Okay, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Okay, in this class, okay, we are going to discuss about the connectivity modes. Okay, so connectivity modes. So, what are the connectivity modes we have? So, in Power BI, we have a import, direct, and live connection modes. Okay, three connection modes we have. Okay, so we'll see the differences and when to choose what. Okay, we'll discuss in detail, guys. Okay, we'll discuss in detail. Okay, if you go to the import, okay, if you go to the import, import will import the data into Power BI. The definition of the import, you know, so it will import the data into Power BI. Okay, but if you see the direct, okay, data will be at source only. It will not import the data into Power BI. Okay, that is the first point of direct. But if you see the live, okay, data and model, okay. Uh, if you are new to this Power BI, guys, okay, data and model, okay, model is the relationship between the tables. Any data is the source data, so where user uh, kept the data, okay. So like the data will be both model and data will be at source, okay. That is the first point, guys. Okay. So but only import will import the copy, okay. Import the same as this whatever the copy we have at the source, the same copy it will take the data into Power BI, and then so import can connect to multiple connections, okay. Import can have a multiple connections. Okay, you can have a SharePoint. Okay, you can have an Excel file. You can have a um, database. Okay, you can have multiple connections. And by default, import will be there all 99 sources. Okay, we have a uh, so Power BI can connect. Okay, almost 100 sources. But if there is no specific like import and direct, okay, if you don't see anything, okay, it's a default. It's a import. Okay, so. Import connection will be there for the default case. Okay, so but direct is only for the databases. Okay, it can it can connect only database, but it can connect only one connection at a time. Either it can connect SQL or Oracle or IBM DB2 access database. Okay, so any any database IBM Sina uh, sorry uh, IBM uh, uh, SAP HANA something like that. Okay, any database you can connect only one database at a time. Okay, you can connect one connection only, but import can connect multiple connections. But even live, okay, live is only for the um, no analysis services. Okay, live is only for the SSAs. Okay, SQL Server. SSAs means S, S means SQL, S means Server, A means analysis, S, S means again services. Okay, SQL Server, SQL uh, Server analysis service only. This connection is specific to the SQL Server analysis. Okay. And if you see the second point, okay, second point is done. And the third point is, okay, data limit. If you use the pro license, it's a one GB data limit. Why? Because it, we are importing it, okay? We are importing, just like you can imagine, okay? So if you are watching, uh, okay, if you are uh, downloading movie from online to your mobile, okay, at that time your memory is required. Okay, import means we are importing the data. We are importing the movie. Just take, I'm giving an example, guys, okay? We are importing movie. So in your mobile space is required, okay? The capacity, okay? If you use some like 16 GB, so something, okay, 32 GB and the, the capacity, based on the capacity, we have the limit, okay? If you use the pro license, okay? If you use a pro license, it's a one GB dollar limit. If you use a premium, okay, it's a greater than uh, 10 GB and uh, based on the nodes case, okay? So you can, uh, if you are uh, new to this uh, licenses and all, so, uh, Yesterday I have created a video. I have posted the video on licenses very clearly. Okay, so I strongly recommend to watch that video, guys. Okay, but if you go, if you come to the direct, okay, direct, okay, direct, there is no data limit. Why? Because we are not importing the we are not importing the data into Power BI. Guys. Okay, like same like you are watching online movie, you are not importing into uh, your mobile. Okay, so there is no required. Okay, there is no um, um, point of memory. Okay. So point of memory, memory is not required here. Okay, why? Because we are watching online movie. Okay, so that's just an example case. Okay, if you were importing movie, okay, importing movie and then watching means that you that required mobile required the space. But here you don't require any space. But live also you will have. Okay, you are not importing any data into Power BI. Okay, the model and the uh, source will be at source right. Okay, it will also connect unlimited data. There is no data limit. Okay, kind of things. Okay. And so it's a kind of, uh, you know, uh, okay, okay. Here we can use all kind of DAX functions, okay. DAX functions like, uh, so in modeling to analyze your data deeply, DAX means data analysis expression. If you want to analyze your data deeply, like do the calculations, like what is the year over year sales and uh, 
uh, what is the sales percentage growth okay what is the uh, ytd and uh, mtd qtd something like that okay to do some cam uh, complex calculation we'll go with the some dax functions okay so by using import we can do all kind of dax functions but uh, if you see the direct okay there is a limitation guys okay you cannot uh, go with the all kind of dax functions there is a limitations dax limitations are there we can use only a few of them okay but so if you want to do the calculation how we can do it, okay so this is the structured data case okay the source level you can do it whatever the things okay you cannot do it in power bi okay you can do it in sql okay and here also uh, we can use all kind of dax functions here okay you can use all kind of dax functions um, there is no limitations for this okay live connection okay but if you uh, so that is the one thing and the performance if you if you see the performance by okay it's a fast performance why because you are already imported the data into your memory so if you take an example if you take an example in mobile you have already uh, downloaded the movie and then watching the movie there is no buffer right okay after downloading there is no buffer okay it will be fast obviously okay it will be fast obviously right so but if you are watching online movie so if you direct direct is kind of what i said direct is kind of online movie okay if you are on if you are watching online movie so obviously the buffer is there okay so it will be slow performance okay it will be have a slow performance why because so it has to hit the database and it has to bring the data so that is the reason it will be a slow performance but you get here it's a very big kind of motor you can say it's a kind of you know very uh, big pipeline something you can say it's a fast performance okay it's a fast performance okay it's, it will not have any slow performance and also if you see one more point it's a no data it's not a latest data okay import if you see some netflix uh, series web series something like that okay if you import that netflix series okay daily daily uh, uh, latest to, okay they will upload the new things and then that you has to import then only you can see the um, data otherwise you can see only the imported ones okay only the imported ones you can see okay the same way so whatever the cache data is there that only it will show okay but when the next schedule is run okay next schedule is run and next sorry uh, next uh, refresh is done then only it will bring the uh, new database okay the same way when you uh, import the next uh, web series then only you can see the new movie something like the new series okay the same way uh, you can go with the so it will not have a latest database okay and also you can here you can have the so what is the visual tab and target tab and then so visual view okay so in uh, power bi we have a three kind of views case okay this is the visual view and this is the data view and this is the model view okay so if you find this is the visual view case okay? visual view and so people may ask the interview question also okay what are the views are available okay what are the views are available okay three views are available okay one is the visual view and another one is the um, data view and then uh, another one is the model view case okay so another one is the model view so this is the model so these are the views okay so model okay so when you connect with the import okay when you connect with the import you can see all this uh, uh this all this visuals okay all this views all this views you can see but when you connect with the uh, direct okay you cannot see this data data why because data at source okay when you connect with the live even you cannot see this one also okay so like uh, where is the import and direct connection if you want to see okay just go and then connect sql base okay sql any database not only sql if you connect with the, any databases okay here you can see the uh, data connectivity modes okay here you have the import and direct connectivity modes case okay import and direct connectivity modes and also for live connection okay if you go with the live connection for analysis service i said right okay here is a analysis service if you connect with that okay it will give the so sql server means what ssis means what i said sql server analysis service okay so this is for and then the connectivity modes we have okay import by default will be there for all connection case okay live is there and but import will be there for all connections by default okay so these are the things okay so we'll connect okay so uh, we'll connect direct okay whether it is uh, uh, so the data view is not available or not we'll see that okay just connect this uh, quickly and then see okay if you connect with the dot okay if you connect with the dot and then uh, if you 
any directory. Sorry, it's not import one, right? Sorry, guys. Okay. So we have to connect with the direct. Okay. I just connected a import. Okay. Just let me go here and then go to the simple server. Okay. Go with the direct connection. It is okay. Sorry. Specify the my local server I'm connecting, guys. Okay. That is the reason I'm giving that. Okay. You can click on okay. And you can click to any uh, database, okay, click the sample database and then connect to any uh, view, okay, so that is a view and then load, okay. So when you click on load, guys, okay, automatically the data tab will be gone, okay, the magic will happen, see, guys, okay. And one, two, three, go, boom. See, there is no data tab now, okay, there is no data tab now, okay. So this way we can identify this is in a direct connection and also, if you go to the right side corner down, okay, there is a storage mode. Okay, this is a direct connection. Okay, so this way you can identify whether it's a direct connection or not. And also, okay, so that's what I have written the points. Okay, that's what I have written the points. Okay, so in the direct connection, you can have only visual tab and model tab. Is that correct? Okay, so visual tab and model tab you have, and then even live connection, you have only visualization tab. Okay, you don't have the so data and model why because data and model will be at source okay why because data and model will be source okay if you see the pro and cons of this uh, import and direct okay, when to go what okay if you want to see so this is the um, con guys okay this is the con for this okay why because this is the having the data limit okay when we okay when we are going with the more than uh, uh, okay when you using pro license if you having more than one gb data then you have to go with the direct query okay so and it's not also latest data okay so if you want more refreshes okay if you want more refreshes like uh, so it's per day it's a uh, if you use the import pro license it's a eight times per day again uh, this we covered in the license case okay if you are not familiar with that okay just go and watch that video um, so uh, if it is it's not latest data whenever the cache data is available that cache data will be next schedule okay it's a uh, it's, it will show the same data for the next schedule. Okay, when the next schedule comes, okay, then only it will show the latest data, but it will not have the latest data every time. Okay, this is the limitation, guys. Okay, this is the limitation. So, okay, other than that, okay, we have a, uh, you know, fast performance, all kind of tax functions we can cover, and then we can connect multiple connections, and everything is a added, added advantage. Okay, advantage only, but the thing is only uh, this limitations and latest data. Okay, it will not have the latest data. Okay, if you want to uh, have a latest data and if you want to handle more data, then you can go with the direct query. Okay, if you so it will connect unlimited data, but the thing is you have a slow performance. Okay, okay? so the disadvantage here is slow performance, and also there is a DAX limitations. Okay, so these are the main drawbacks to the uh, uh, you know direct query. But so if you want to fast performance and also huge amount of data, that means then you can go with the live connection but live connection is more expensive guys okay whenever you have a msbi subscription then only you can go otherwise you cannot go with the live connection why because more expensive okay so for you know uh, per month only for msbi subscription per month only it will have 4995 okay whenever you have a you know a company whenever you have a msbi subscription then only you can go with the live connection it's a more expensive okay if you see it's a all kind all functions are only uh, very good function, but the thing is, okay, we can, uh, so we can do only visualizations, okay, we cannot do with the modeling and kind of things, okay, so the data and modeling, everything will be at the source, so, but remaining all points are good, okay, fast performance, latest data, and then we can connect to the all kind of tax functions, there is no data limit, okay, everything is a, a good point for the live connection, but it's a more expensive, and uh, uh, so if you have, a, you know, if you don't have a subscription, then better to go with the this important uh, direct okay hope you are clear with this okay so when to choose what and then okay so you have to go with the pro and cons okay if it is not possible with the import then you can go with the direct okay so like that way okay you can choose that case okay this is about the import uh, connectivity modes okay, okay that is this is about the connectivity modes okay we have three types of connectivity modes and also we have seen the different types of points in the connectivity modes okay hope you are like my video and if you want more uh, videos like this guys okay uh, please hit the like button and comment what you feel about this video so that uh, that will be encouraged for me so that i can do more videos for you guys okay 
yeah and also what type of videos you want also you can uh, post it in comment so that i can do it for you guys okay thank you thank you so much